Hello there, it's Mark Gang, and welcome to my top 5 training packs anno 2020. In this video, I will be showing you my top 5 training packs. These training packs will improve your car control, aerial dribbles, backboard shots, and so on. But first of all, why are training packs so important? Well, here is the answer. They learn you how to hit each ball on a different angle. The training packs that I'm going to show you guys today are situations that will happen in almost every game, no matter what rank you are. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Keep in mind, this is a personal preference. This is my criteria on my top 5. Variety of angles, amount of shots, the difficulty. Is there any room to improve our mechanics? Are these in-game situations or not? Number 5. Cathbird Aerial Car Control I'm going to put the download code on top of the corner so you can always write down the code to try it yourself. Alright, this map has 18 shots. What's the difficulty of this, of this map? It's actually pretty easy, but you can make it hard by trying to freestyle onto the ball. Is this going to improve your gameplay? Are you getting better at the game by freestyling on the ball? Well, in the beginning not really. Unless you want to show off your fancy freestyling skills, then yeah sure, go do it, why not? But actually, it won't really matter that much. You're only showing off your freestyling skills. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You can practice your car control in the air in every direction you want in this map. You only need to hit a ball into the net, which makes sense, it's a training pack. But the height of these shots are high up, so you need to hit the ball at the right spot to hit it in net. Oh yes, but it's easy, you can hit it straight down the center and score the goal. Yes, that's true, but try to make it more difficult for yourself. Try hitting the crossbar, try hitting in the corner of net, on top, on the bottom. You can choose for yourself, just make it more challenging for you. But if you're a lower rank, you should aim for the ball first. Try to get to the ball and hit it. Don't focus on scoring the ball, no, just make sure you hit the ball. After that, you can start, go and aim for the net. Just build it up slowly, step by step, step by step. This map is good for bronze until champ rank in my opinion, but that's once again personal preference. There are no in-game situations like this just because the ball is moving in-game and here it doesn't. <sighs> but why did I add it anyway? Just because it learns you how to hit the ball. This is why it's number 5. Number 4. This pack is called Saves by Pokiro. Once again, you have to download code on top of the corner. Alright, this has 46 shots or actually saves. Well, this pack doesn't need any extra information, but why should you be training on this pack? Well, it's pretty simple. Have you seen your team members who are not clearing the ball that good when they got a shot on that? They just hit it back to the opponent or just missed the ball because it was going too hard? They couldn't react or whatsoever? Well, that's normal if you don't practice the mechanic to clear a ball on the proper way. But how do you clear a ball? Well, that's pretty simple. Try to clear the ball to the corner where there is no opponent. Of course, in training you should aim for the corner that's closest to you and get back to the ground ASAP. Because the faster you're on the ground, the faster you can get back to the ball and go for that counter attack. This mechanic is needed to play in rank and it'll help you so so much on saving shots on it and make that counter attack and eventually score that winning goal for your team. There's always room for improvement on clearing balls, always. Even Grand Champs still can learn how to properly clear a ball. I'm currently in Champ 2 and I can tell you guys I met a lot of team members with this problem, even in Champ rating. So, and even I need to improve on this because I know when I'm at an awkward spot I can't clear it properly or when you get pressured or whatsoever. So there are tons of shots where you are positioned in an awkward spot and this pack is perfect to train on these situations. That's why it's on number 4. Number 3. Aerial shots redirects from Pokiru once again. If you manage to get the mechanic from the aerial control training pack, then this should be your go-to as a next training pack. Now you know how to hit the ball properly in the air. Well, this is going to a step further. You need to use aerial to get yourself in the perfect spot to hit the ball. Because if you're playing with a duo partner or a team of three, then you should probably are getting a lot of passes that are high up in the air. Passes where you could redirect them into net. Well, this pack is perfect for that. 
It has a variety of angles and heights on where you need to hit the ball into the net. This pack is so good for all ranks just to practice on that redirecting. If you want to spice things up, you can start adding some freestyle when you get to the ball. You could also delay your jump if possible to hit that ball. Give yourself some pressure so you're working on that muscle memory. The more practice on these kinds of redirect you do, the better you're going to be in game. Because we all want to rank up, right? Number 2. Backboard Training by Juicy I use this pack to train on backboard shots. The higher you climb on the ranking, the more backboard shots you can get. This mechanic needs you to predict where the ball is going to and what the opponent is going to do. This pack is giving you a variety of angles, heights and speed of the ball. Some shots are quite challenging to, to hit. This pack is perfect if you want to practice on the backboard shots. Since I need to practice on backboard shots myself, I've been using this pack for quite some time and it's helping me out so, so much. There are plenty of backboard packs, but this pack is very efficient on training that mechanic slash muscle memory. Once again, you can spice things up by adding some freestyle, delaying your jump, all kinds of possibilities. You should really give it a try. Even grand champs can still learn from this pack. That's why it's on number two. Let's move on to our grand winner number one. Number one, shots you shouldn't miss. The title of this pack says it all, right? Shots you should not miss? Well, this pack is a lot harder than you might think. If you try to score the goal on a default way, then yeah, sure, this is pretty easy, but I spice things up for myself. Delaying my touch till the very last second, only jump to the ball when I hear the last beep, air roll my car into an awkward position, booming these shots by hitting the ball on the best spot possible. I keep doing trial and error on this training pack as you can see in the video. The more you practice on these awkward shots, the better you'll train your muscle memory to hit these balls. Even here you can learn how to control the ball on top of your car. This pack has multiple possibilities to train all kinds of mechanics. This pack also gives a lot of pressure on your shots, you need to time your shots correctly and at the right angle, that's very important. Alright guys, this was my top 5 on the training packs, you can find the download codes down below in the description area if you missed them in this video. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this top 5, what did you miss out on this video? Also comment down below what you want to see in the next video. Alright SMR gang, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace out.